I feel like I'm in an orchestra like. Today we try something new. I'm gonna create some dark drones using the Zoom F6, the Geophone, only the sounds that are available here in this apartment, Ableton 10 and free plugins. So let's get started. So I'm definitely not leaving the house. You see I'm in my sweatpants. There are already great sounds here in this apartment, like the fridge has a nice rumble. Then we have like an old stove that creates interesting sounds. Also the pipes here in this apartment is all like running water. So you get all these woo. But I wanna show you something that you maybe don't even thought about it. And this is this drying rack here in front of me. And before I'm gonna use the Geophone, if you have never heard about the Geophone, we made a video about while traveling around Iceland. So I highly recommend you checking it out. I just wanna show you that you can create your own instruments already with it. I'm using two different knives. You can use whatever you have, right? Everything you use with it will sound completely different. So just listen to this. It kind of sounds like a church bell, right? Now this is a little darker. And now let's see how it sounds like with the geophone. Listen to this. So you can actually record your own heartbeat and uh, Jonas, he also has a suction cup that I ordered. So with the suction cup, you can actually put it really on your skin and then you can get uh, a really clean heartbeat. So that's really great. So it's, as you see, it's, it's, it's so fun, right? Just this geophone is, is, is so cool. And now let's get into the drying rack. It is so sensitive. You can hear it, right? If I'm like just stepping here, you get already this nice vroom. From this. Oh. So now I'm using just my hands really quick. It, it creates this dark, like kind of terror sounding, like oh, eerie. Now what's the difference here is between this kind of sound and for example a pipe with running water is that you have a continuous like sound like whoo, so a continuous floating. So to create like a dark drone, these sounds are also great if you just have this long section. But in Ableton, I wanna show you something that you can just use one of these parts and then you use just this to make it longer and longer and longer. So sometimes you don't need two minutes, three minutes recording. It's, it's like a couple seconds or one second or just like a tiny bit of a second is already enough to create a great like dark sounding drone or room tone. It's, it's fantastic what you can do. So now I'm gonna record more and then I see you on the computer. Welcome to my home studio. Now that's all what I have. So if you're wondering, you know, like traveling in the world, recording sounds, editing sounds, I'm using the MacBook Air. It's great for field recordings. I don't need anything more, you know, with audition and this, that's about it. But now going and tapping into the world of sound design, it is not enough. So if it comes to capacities of the RAM and size, I, I'm very limited. But in a way I still make it work, right? Because that's, that's the tool that I have that, that is available to me and I can work with it. That's why I love using things that are free. You know, like Ableton is maybe not free, but uh, I have still, I have Ableton 10 and they have a 90 day free trial. So always check up, then you can try it out. Things that uh, you are interested in. And I'm interested in like these drone pads, synth 
but creating these sounds with my own recordings. That's why, you know, you saw me recording the sounds with the geophone. The geophone alone creates an incredible reverb of the hits, you know, like with these kind of percussion sounds, it's like all this rumbling. You can do so many things with uh, plugins, you know, like I'm gonna show you one particular plugin that I love using right now, and this is Valhalla Supermassive. Oh, what you can do with it, and then also we bring you into the granulator. You know, I can't just go on right now. So let's just get started. Okay, welcome to Ableton now. Uh, I just wanna show you the part that I think is very interesting and that I cut out, I cut out a minute, but you can download the whole long track from the drying rack um, inside my Geophone pack that I have available for you. There are over 100 minutes of other sounds here from Iceland, only recorded with the Geophone. So if you're interested in that, creating new sounds with that, uh, there is a link in the description below. So now, Let's listen to the part that I think is really fun. Now let's listen with one of my favorite plugins. It's Valhalla Supermassive. It's it's free. It's a free plugin. Oh, what you can do with this alone. You know, you have so many presets that comes with it. And then you can, of course, start changing them as, ev as ever you want. But now just the difference between the sound just without any plugins, without any reverse was already great. But now listen to this one. It's, 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 oh, it's created this darky, warpy, oh, and then, ah, uh, that's so much fun. But what I love about uh, Ableton is that you, you have different options. I could right now freeze the track, bring it into a different uh, track, and then can do something different. Or what I can do, and this is also free, there are a lot of reverbs, so if you, for example, you go to reverb, you can find so many different reverbs. Let's just, just click on this one, church. And you see it is it, it is so wide right now. So that's, that's so much fun that you can just layer different rags right next to Valhalla and then it's all playing together. And one of my favorites that I also use right now, let me stop this really quick, is, oh, the Shimmer is fantastic. -hoo -hoo. But uh, this one, DSK Drone. So he's a, I found this on YouTube. Sometimes what, what I do is I, I go on YouTube videos uh, on YouTube and then I type in best drone sounds created with Ableton. And then you find other people uh, talking about it, how they do it. And then sometimes because they're so advanced in Ableton, they can create these rags and sometimes they give them away uh, for free. And and this one, ah, this is so much fun. Dude, I just activated it, let's keep it running just without the Valhalla and then we can change the, the, the sound. So this is without the drone rack. Now we turn it on. And then you have all these different uh, buttons here and then you can I'm not a big fan of the shift but this here turn off the the, the erosion Now I want to show you something. We're using the same sound, right? We haven't touched anything else. We just have Valhalla as a plugin. We have a drone rack. And now I have another one. It's Shimmer. It's also a free rack that I found uh, from a YouTuber. It's like tmacmusic.com. And uh, just listen to this when we turn on the Shimmer. It's just, it's incredible, right? Just, 
Now imagine somebody is behind you, behind the door, with an axe, and you're like, oh, it, it's so like, oh, it's so cool, and and created with the geophone, right? It's the source, and then you have all these tools that are available for you to make this just, and you just keep it running. You just keep it running, and it's getting better and better and better. I don't even click any buttons. Wow. It's it's like horror, right? It's like wow, I, I I love that stuff. And and if you're a music producer, right? Like you know all these things. For me it's all new. That's why I'm so excited. It's snoof to me. Totally new. And uh, it's just so much fun to play around with this stuff. So now what we're doing next is uh, what I found is uh, called Granulator. Uh, if you have Ableton and you don't see great Granulator, you can find it also on the Ableton website. So you can download Granulator. So we close everything off and then we load the Granulator to Granulator. Granulator. Is it German actually, by the way, who uh, also Ableton? Uh, it's made in Germany. Just saying. Ha! That's one too much. There you go. Now what we're doing is we are drag and drop into the granulator. Ah. Suck. Boop. Now, now what we're doing is we are using the keyboard now. Also, I would love to have like a nice like launch key innovation. That's I think it's it's really cool. Arturia has really nice like mini keyboards that you can travel with. So this is one of my next things that I would like to buy. So, but that's so nice. You can just use your own keys. And here in the right corner, you have to always make sure that this is activated, the keyboard. And then what the granulator does is it just uses parts of the track just like tiny bits of it and then you can create complete different tones like 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 totally different like this is so much fun so let's see here what we can do just starting I just click on my a boom it's like very so it's like and then I can move I can move you see but it's 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 very like tight so what you do is you just make it longer so yeah now I did made it shorter. Other side. Oh. So now when you hear that, right? It's it's fantastic. You could just you go on. And it, it's also how you can change the file position. But what you do is you can ch change the oh digging digging. You can change the decay, the release. Oh, that's not The attack time. Oh. And then you can also click on hold and then it just does it all over again. Now what we're doing is we're just using a random part and then also using the free plugins, right? So let's see what, what, what happens. Just find a nice spot here. Okay. Yeah, okay, here we go. We're using this part and oh. ooh, ooh, ooh. oh, spray is also very interesting. So now it's oh. So it just I hit one key and it does so much so now let's lose let's use another plugin Valhalla right let's start with Valhalla that's my, my favorite plugin here so Valhalla is super massive and now what happens is you see it is here in Ableton it is behind the granulator so that means the sound goes from the granulator through Valhalla and then let's see what Valhalla does it also, I'm gonna use my favorite uh, 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 settings. This is, this is so cool. Let's see what happens. Oh, 
you see this is like totally different and now we're changing different keys oh. I create different tones it's very loud sorry bring it down a little bit another plugin that I would like to show you is Raum from Native Instrument uh, I got it for free um, because there was a December, it was a deal. That's why I always recommend you. Right now it's $50, it's fantastic. Uh, it does so much airy stuff. Uh, well, I'm reading airy right now, that's why I said it. So it's it's <laughs> it's it creates this fantastic reverb, so, and, and it has so many, many options. Né? It's, it's just fantastic. If you just look here, what you can do, and then of course you can change other things through it. For a beginner like me who is just excited about sound, it's, it's great that these tools are available. And it and, and makes me more understanding, wants me to make, to learn more about sound design or especially like recreating uh, sounds. Now let's listen how that sounds like with if there's Raum with In The Way. Whoa. Oh, but you see I'm already in my capacity here of what my computer is capable of. <laughs> but it's it's cool, so let's take out ROM. Um so always keep this in mind. Have you know like if you if you follow a bedroom producer blog for example or you're on different Facebook groups where I am, like with free VST plugins. There's all available. You can always stay up to date or plugin boutique. When you sign up for the newsletter, you can always uh, find a way to get stuff for for free or for incredible on, on sale, right? Like I know like Sound Toys was on sale a couple of weeks ago. Uh, I did not buy it because I know I, it's, I would love also like pigments, for example, pigments too, that's all great, but it does not make sense if you have like a MacBook Air right now. So what we're doing is now let's record just a little track here. Um, but I also want to use uh, another rag. Like for example, this, I love the shimmer rag, right? The shimmer is fantastic. Ooh, there it is. Okay. You can change the volume here. Also the velocity of the keys, when I hit the key, I have to be careful that I don't hit the keys too hard, because that's what happened, I'm do it right now just to show you, or longer. I feel like I'm in an orchestra, like. <laughs> Fantastic, that's incredible. Dude, think about it. It's the geophone on a on a on a drying rag. Wow, it's like it's so massive. I just, oh, 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 now I see. I did a mistake. Um, I have to have always a track longer. You see, now it starts the track again. So with that saying, I have to make this longer. Now I already mixed that up, but that's okay. We just keep it low running. Because then you just keep making it new. Uh, but every time you make something new, it will sound completely different. Oh. Oh. No. Overdrive. One more. One, one more, Libby. One more, Libby. Oh. You know, it's like. It's like. You see, and 
and what I just created was just the tiny bit of this whole track. This is just a millisecond. Okay, so it's time to give this computer a little break and let's see how I can end this video in a nice way, not too long, but that's how I am. I always talk too much. Talking about Ableton, right? Talking about sound design, uh, creating these sounds, it is so exciting for me. It, it is so much fun by, you know, I haven't even left the house. Just think about it, right? I was here in the same room with the geophone, you know, I have I have this microphone, I have this device to record these sounds. I'm using a, a knife, ding, ding, ding. And then you put it into a machine like Ableton, you use free plugins, and then you can create something that sounds like orchestral, rich, and big, and massive, and scary, and you can just go in any direction. I could, I could just do it by, moving one meter from there to here and and that's it and then i can bring it out in the world we can also make this a kind of like a collaborate thing right you're probably a very experienced sound designer sound engineer and you're like oh man there's another really cool plugin that you could use and so if you would leave me a comment in the description below or you send me a message on instagram and say hey you saw the video i have way more tips for you or what you can do with using these kind of plugins so super grateful for that because that's what i want i want to learn more about this world of sound design. As I evolve, as I see, and also the feedback through 3D sounds, through if people like downloading the sounds, I'm gonna re create this as a sound library called Dark Rooms. I give you another example, just listen to this here. You see, I, I already created really nice, uh, roomy, dark sounding sounds that's gonna be available in another sound library. And uh, if you like these kind of sounds, you will find them on my Bandcamp account. Maybe uh, if you watch this video later, there might be already a, a link in the description. If not, it will be available pretty, pretty soon. And then I see, you know, how people react to it and love it. And then I will create more and more and more. So it's it's all about starting and I'm not afraid. You know, like I, I know something that's new to me and I want to learn it. So that's why I'm never afraid of learning and creating, but also showing you, you know, like with YouTube, everything, I could do this like in a dark corner alone, but I don't want that. I wanna show you what I'm doing, what I'm up to. So I hope you really enjoy watching this video. If you wanna follow us along the way, feel free to subscribe to our channel. It's always great to know that there are people out there who enjoy our content. Thank you so much, and I see you in the next one.